Well, skateboarding will be making its Olympic debut this summer at the Tokyo Games. It's perhaps not surprising that a number of locals are in the hunt to earn a qualifying spot. As Karen Larson reports, Vancouver has long been a mecca for the sport. When Vancouver pro Adam Hopkins first got hooked on skateboarding, he never imagined that one day he'd be vying for a spot on the Canadian Olympic team. It's kind of crazy to be here at this point with Olympics being on the table. That was never something as a skateboarder that we really thought about. I was more on the road traveling, filming videos, uh, shooting photos, doing that kind of thing. Same goes for Andy Anderson. The White Rock professional is a former world freestyle champion, recognized as one of the most creative skaters in the world. Nothing's really changed except how much respect I get from other people. You know what I mean? I'm still just a skateboarder, but now because they put this sport in the Olympics, now people want to get me on the news. Getting in the news and on the Olympic program has its benefits. Purists might not be keen on the sportification of skateboarding, but with a potential audience in the billions, there's an upside. I've heard stats about skateboarding during COVID and skateboard sales went up 300%. Uh, because it's a non-contact sport, so you could do it, uh, you know, and be safe within the protocols and stuff like that. Maybe, you know, you add the Olympics into that. Like, I think we're about to see a boom in skateboarding. Both Hopkins and Anderson are in the hunt to earn one of the 20 spots in Tokyo for the men's park discipline. COVID-19 has thrown a wrench into the schedule of qualifying events, but pandemic willing, selection should be nailed down in early summer. It's been kind of a rat race, I guess you could say, but at the end of the day, you just kind of have to trust in the process and, and wait for when it's time to go again. I feel pressure, but I also enjoy pressure a little bit, at least and tell myself I do. Karen Larson, CBC News, Vancouver. Johanna Wagstaff joins us now. Uh, wow, nice day to get in some rails or some... Herbs, or I don't even know what I'm talking <laughs> Some about. Some mollies. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> That's the only one I know. Yeah. <laughs>